Welcome back. A new state law provides more protection from being fired for using marijuana. But there are some employees who are excluded. Roxanne Elias has the details of who the new law protects. Starting this new year, new cannabis laws are protecting employees who rely on marijuana for a number of reasons. I have ADHD. I was on a uh, stimulant for about 15 years, so I decided to get off of it about two, two and a half years ago, and I found out that marijuana helps like shut my brain down at night. The new laws mean California employers are barred from asking workers about their use of cannabis outside of work. What they did in AB 2188 is they said, employers in hiring, firing, or in penalizing employees cannot discriminate based upon outside of work cannabis use. Chris McKaylee is an adjunct professor at the McGeorge School of Law. He says the bill attempts to strike a balance between workers being able to utilize marijuana for recreational purposes while keeping the employer's interest of ensuring workers are not impaired at their work site or the office. The second item that AB 2188 makes unlawful is any test that only tests for non-psychoactive cannabis metabolites. Just because you had some cannabis in your system, which can last two, three, or four weeks, doesn't mean that you are impaired at the workplace. But there are some employees who are excluded from these new laws. That includes workers in construction trades and for job applicants and employees who work for federal contractors. Meanwhile, employees say the new laws are allowing them to be successful in their careers with safety still at the forefront. It's keeping people off pay meds and I believe that you shouldn't be able to get fired for it. I mean, what you do outside of work is really your business as long as you're responsible with it. That was our Roxanne Elias reporting. A commercial truck driver asked us how this would affect them. McKaylee says the same laws are in effect unless, again, they are under federal contra contractors. The new law also do not prevent employers from using tests to detect impairment, such as blood tests. But McKaylee says employers have to have a standard process where they test all workers rather than selecting a few or targeting a select few. For a list of other new laws now in effect, just head to our website, abc10.com.